So we've managed to get our player walking, but let's be honest, he looks just a little bit ridiculous moonwalking back and forth across the scene. Let's get this guy flipped. So to make this happen, you're going to have to head over into Visual Studio and do some work with your player move script. Fortunately, this one's actually pretty easy. The first thing we're going to do is add a new variable, and this one's going to be a public variable. We're going to be creating a box in Unity that we'll be able to drag something into, so that's why we're making it public. This time we're going to make a reference to your sprite renderer. Now, if you head back into Unity for just a sec, you'll notice that the sprite renderer can be found on, well, any sprite that you've got in your game. So over here in the inspector, if you click it down, you'll notice that the sprite renderer is in charge of things like deciding what layer and where in the layer your character will go and that sort of thing. So we're going to be making a reference to this so that we can flip him back and forth along the X. Now, this is a public sprite renderer variable. Let's just call it what it is, sprite renderer. Don't forget your semicolon. Now for this one, we're just going to write a fairly simple line down here in your void update function. We've already got an input variable, which is constantly updating to show whether or not we're facing left or right, minus 1 being left and 1 being right. So we're just going to add a little if statement in here. So if our input is less than 0, then we'll do a curly bracket. Well, if he's less than 0, then we want him to flip. So we'll call up our sprite renderer. We'll put a dot. A dot just means you're going inside of it. So we're looking at the sprite renderer component, and now we're going to look specifically at the flip x section of it. And what we want to do is we want to set that to true, which means it'll just flip us along our x-axis, which is left and right. Now we've got him flipping when our input is to the left. Now we want to make sure that he flips back when you're facing right. So we're going to add an else if statement. That else just means that it'll look first at this one to see if we're facing left, and if we're not, it'll look down here. And in this case, we want to check to see if input is greater than zero. Remember, if it's actually zero, we just want things to stay the same. Now we'll write almost the exact same line. We're going to get our sprite, sprite renderer, look at the flip x, but this time we'll be setting it to false. Don't forget to save that thing, and then you can head back over to Unity and see how it works. So now that we're in Unity, you just have one quick step to do. Over here in your inspector, you'll notice we've got that box now. It wants to know which sprite renderer we're flipping. So we can grab the sprite renderer and drag it down in there. Now we can hit play. And I'm sad to say there is no moonwalking left. If you take a quick look over into the inspector, you'll notice that as we move to the side, our X value is clicking and unclicking for whether or not we're flipped. All right, go ahead and get rid of your own moonwalk.